What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S23 Ultra will get a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip worldwide and lately it's been showing up on Geekbench to reveal its CPU capability and for the first time in many years, Qualcomm is coming so close to surpassing Apple's A-series chipset. But you see, Geekbench only measures the CPU capabilities. It doesn't measure the graphics of a chipset, which is equally important. Thankfully, we have some news that indicates even though Qualcomm fell short of beating Apple in the CPU game, they've successfully surpassed Apple in terms of pure raw GPU power. Ice Universe mentions on Twitter that both MediaTek Diamond City 9200 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will perform better than the A16 Bionic chip in terms of graphical performance. He also gave some numbers. The Diamond City 9200's Mali GPU scored an average of 328 frames per second in GFX Pen's Manhattan off screen 1080p test. In comparison, Apple's latest A16 Bionic on the iPhone 14 Pro Max has an average score of 292 frames per second in the same test. Now, interestingly, it's being reported that the GPU on Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 performs slightly better than MediaTek's Diamond City 9200, which means the Galaxy S23 Ultra and other S23 units will finally surpass Apple in terms of graphical performance. In addition to improvements in CPU and GPU, the new chipset will also bring improvements to power efficiency, which means battery life will also get better. Now, here's some interesting news. You see, Samsung is gearing up to launch a new wireless charger alongside the Galaxy S23 in January that will have never seen before features. It will be a successor to the wireless charging trio that Samsung launched in 2020 and according to new certifications, the new charging hub will have Bluetooth. Now it's the first time we're seeing Bluetooth being incorporated into a wireless charger, so I'm not really sure what this is for, but the name of the device in the certification is shedding light on what this could be. It refers to the device as SmartThings Station. If you don't know what SmartThings is, it's basically Samsung's central app for controlling all smart home devices installed in your home. So what exactly a wireless charger with SmartThings capabilities would mean? Well, we don't know for sure, but if I were to guess, you can turn on or off the wireless charger remotely through the app. You can also get the charging information of your smartwatch and earbuds from the app and more. The possibilities are there, but we'll have to wait for more information to find out exactly what this is. And finally, here's this photo circulating on the internet claiming that these are the pre-order freebies you'd get if you buy the S23 and S23 Plus, which is the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. But I'd like to clear this up that this is a fan-made render and it's not real, because it's way too early for these leaks to pop up, and if you zoom in, you would notice that they did a bad job of photoshopping the image. To see the first ever camera sample of the S23 Ultra, click here, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.